Hi folks, welcome. This is the One Tigress Evil Eyes titanium stove. It's a new purchase for me and today we're giving it a fire up for the first time and we're going to put it to the test and do a spot of lunch. We've got the two top parts here which you can rest your pot or, or pan on and even with them on there's still plenty of room to put wood uh, through the top. So I'm quite pleased with that, that's quite a good little bonus and you can feed your wood in through the side. So I'm just going to get some good coals and embers in here, get it nice and hot and I'll show you what we've got for lunch and we'll do a spot of cooking. Right, I picked this up in the supermarket, I've never seen it before. Haggis, I'm not sure how to say that, uh, Boer Wars. Now, South African and from what I understand, Boer means farmer and that was means sausage. I know I'm saying it wrong. And it's supposed to contain beef, which this does. And it has to have a certain percentage of beef. But what I did read about this was it doesn't have offal. But actually, haggis is offal. <laughs> so this is obviously something new that they're trying. However, I've never had it before. And I thought I'd give it a go. What a smell, really nice actually. So that sausage is, I was reading, was something like 45% uh, beef, 45% haggis, so it's quite a lot of meat in there. Some spice as well. And that that smell's coming through. Love it. <laughs> That's just a little bit of salt and pepper and paprika there, just for the potatoes. This is just a little bit of Polish salad.
three second rule. Right, let's give this a bash. What do we go for first? <laughs> I think we know. I think we know what a potato tastes like and we know what this salad tastes like. So let's try the sausage. Yes. That is nice. Hmm. <laughs> that is delicious. By the way. Hmm. Really nice. If I see these again, I'm definitely getting these again. This is nice. That combination of haggis and beef there. Nice, well balanced. Without being over dramatic, this is one of the nicest outdoor cooks I've done. Real pleasure to use that stove. Really simple dish to cook. Potatoes boiled before I brought them out. Mmm. That is really nice. I tried to resist the temptation, but I'm gonna have the other one. <laughs> Oh yeah, why not, oh, apart from being overweight, so I can't think of any other reason why not. I just want to show you one thing about the stove.
but there's this that takes the wee Trangia burner. I really, really like that. I thought we'd just take a quick look at this then. I've purchased this myself. It's not been sent out to me for free, so I think I can offer, you know, an honest sort of look at it. I love it. Actually, I have to say, if I were going to rate today's experience, it's, it's 10 out of 10 for me. What I like, I've got this Trangia burner here. I've got the Trangia 27, and I don't use fire in there. I just use this fuel, so I'm limited to what I can use with it. I just don't want to blacken it and get it dirty like that. This multi-fuel, you know, I can have my wood fire or I can put this in and it sits right there, no problem. Right across the top here, we've got one, two, three, four, five slots so you can put in your, your uh, pot stands in, in those slots there. They hold in place, but you can't just put them anywhere because if I just put it there and I wanted it there, it's going to fall down. But that's fine. Those five give you options. The other thing I like about this as well is you can put them together to make that and then they'll fit like that because there's one two three four in the middle there so perfect for the use today it's not warped it's not buckled it's been perfect actually i'm really impressed with this i have to say it's a mid-range one so i've got the luxada that was a budget one uh, that's buckled and warped a bit not particularly fond of it but it's been my go-to this is now my new go-to i really love it and today's lunch was absolutely delicious i have to say for a first cook Nice. So thank you and I hope to see you again. Cheers.